All right, the single leg squat is probably one of the best strength slash power exercises you can do. TRX assist is a great way to, to get used to them. First one is a skater squat. Stick the leg back, chest up nice and high, drop down into it to touch the knee to the ground. You see the TRX provides a great assist. The second one is a pistol. The leg goes out in front. It's the more common of the single leg squats. Move down, dropping the bum down to the ground. You can see by alternating them, we get a great workout right through the leg. And we're really looking at that last powerful movement, that last 60 degrees. The next thing to master is just a freestanding single leg squat. Hold in there, find your balance on your foot, let yourself all the way down and all the way back up. To progress that, you can do something like a little hop up onto a step from a single leg squat. Single leg pistol here. Go right down into the bottom range. From here, you're looking to hop up onto the steps. Up and down into the bottom range again. All right, as we were talking about before, kettlebells have become really popular across the world, mainly for one exercise, and it's one that everyone does. It's a standard swing, a standard two-handed swing or single-arm swing. And you, you know that the power that you're getting out of this, that last 60 degrees of motion to create momentum, is obviously going to be a beneficial exercise for what we're looking for. Well, the single arm, with that slight shoulder rotation, gets that extra core strength. Now... To step it up a level, because we're not just talking about being an everyday punter. We're talking about really trying to produce power for speed on waves and really get that last section boost. So we add this fun little fella here. I'll just show you how to rig this up first. You want to do a really simple knot. So like that. Make sure it's pulled through. Now, you want that knot facing away from you as you do your swings. To set yourself up here, you want to get a nice wide base in your band, feet through, make sure they're holding that band down nice and flat on the ground because what you're going to do is going to be a very powerful movement. Alrighty, let's have a look at the 16 kilo kettlebell banded swing. And you can see that that automatically takes your swing time right back down. A standard swing is going to be around about three to four seconds. A banded swing is going to be between one and a half and two. Now, the kettlebell exercise that we're going to do is a windmill. Um, it comes from a very common yoga move or yoga pose called the triangle. And I'm sure any of you who have done yoga know this pose quite well. And it's all about keeping the body straight, moving yourself into those sort of into those oblique angles and really trying to get that great stretch out of your legs. What we're going to try and do is get into that position nice and strong, supporting the kettlebell's weight, and then move up powerfully because that really, it, it sort of simulates that last, that last motion through snap as you're pushing your legs straight and you're really trying to get back around and drive or throw fins, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Let's have a bit of a look and I'll talk you through it. So you're taking your kettlebell into rack position supporting overhead. Now from here, you're gonna move into that typical triangle yoga pose. But from the bottom, what we wanna see is a heavy contraction through the supporting glute. And really move up with power. The long, slow stretch and power. And you can see there what we're trying to do is obviously lengthen this oblique chain and then really try and drive through the straightening of the body. All right, you guys, the next one's what they call a TRX atomic push-up. Now, this is going to work a lot of paddling muscles, but what we're also looking for is the power and reaction time, that drag up with your knees, so strengthening the lower abs, strengthening the hip flexors, really working hard to come up nice and quick. Um, obviously, this is going to work on landings and you know, drawing your board up to you when, you, when you're moving along the wave. Um, We'll just get into it and I'll do a bit of an explanation afterwards. The thing to remember is this is a corner reverse crunch. We'll go into it after. So putting your hand in here, putting your feet in the stirrups. Obviously face down into a nice strong push-up position. From here, you can come right down into your push-up. 
and pull up to the corner of your into the corner to your elbows now obviously this is a power move so we want to do this quite quick I'll try and do four in succession without petering out see there we're getting the strength through the upper body the drag through the knees and up into the into the lower abs very important to try and get your inside knee out to the elbow so if you're coming to your right elbow you want your left knee coming right up to there now this exercise is what a few of my clients have you know sort of lightly called the wheels of doom um, it's not that bad it's really not that terrible stop making faces so what you want to do is come down into a plank position you're going to be doing a big draw out so this is really where you're working those twisting muscles i know there's a lot of emphasis put on shoulders in surfing to initiate your turn um, what we really want to do is create the power through your legs to really drive that turn now being unloaded i want you to work through quite high speed there's two sections to this we'll go through the first um, quite slowly and then in the second you'll see it's quite similar to the corner um, trx on, the, on your board your seven little caster wheels great fun come down into an elbow plank position it just makes you work a little bit harder through the core from here you want to swing using your lower body the board to the outside now obviously you're going to get caught if you go slowly so we want to move nice and quick we're going to start here draw it out Now, the smoother you get this moving, the better it's going to be. Second, with the corner pull, you want to be extended, nice and extended in the arms. And from here, we're going to bring it around and pull up on the inside. Bring it around and pull up on the inside. And you can see we're really working that heavy turn into push out and drive. 